Welcome to the MTD Technical Corner. Today we're going to be reviewing the One Lock Mark II from Chick um, and supplied in the UK from First MTA. Welcome to the Technical Corner, Richard. Thank you very much, Gio. Good to see you again. Very good to see you too. Now, before we start, we've got a demo coming up. Can you please Firstly, give us a, an overview of the One Lock Mark II. Okay, well, the One Lock, developed by Chick, um, is a low volume and tool room um, work holding um, device. Um, it was developed because people seem to have this idea that in a low volume and tool room environments, you just have to be accepting of a lot of setup time, a disproportionate amount of setup time compared to your cycle time. So the One Lock was developed to try and, and change all of that. Um, also, uh, the old traditional machine vice hasn't really changed much since the 1950s. So uh, since uh, milling machines have changed a lot since the 1950s, um, it was time for milling work holding to be brought into the 21st century. And that's what the One Lock is here to do. So Richard, a work holding solution that eliminates setup time to a certain degree. Absolutely. Uh, but also gives you uh, versatility and accuracy. high precision, exactly. And repeatability. And repeatability, exactly. Right. All, all aimed at low volume machining and tool room type environments where uh, people are just accepting of certain compromises. Uh, but that said, we've seen many of these in use in batch work and repeat work. They work just as well in those environments as well. Right, I'm going to put you to the test. Enough of talking, but start demoing. Obviously, you're going to be talking during the, the demo. Give us a demo. Sure, Richard. no problem. Okay, well, the first thing most people notice about the One Lock is it's very, very clean. Where you're gonna mount your workpiece, you've got no holes, you've got no channels, there's nowhere to trap shavings. So it's much, much easier when you're loading your workpiece to ensure it loads, it locates correctly. Um, also, you'll notice this odd arrangement over here. This is used to disengage the moving jaw from the screw. So I can simply use it as a ratchet to go from large jobs to small jobs, and I can disengage with these levers to go from small jobs to large jobs. Also, on top, you can see these two screws here. These are to release the jaws. Now, at the moment, I have a set of stepped hard jaws in here, but I'm gonna change that for a set of soft aluminum jaws. Now, this is what our soft aluminum jaws look like, but this set has actually been machined for a specific job, so I can show you the way that would work. So, it's just a couple of turns of the screw. The jaws snap into place. And they repeat very, very well. We get better than 20 micron repeatability because there is a spring-loaded mechanism underneath there that locates the jaws. So this set of jaws has been machined to clamp this workpiece. Now this is a two-op job. So that's our first op, and this is our second op. A lot of the time, people would run a whole batch through the first op before they even look at doing the second op. So if you had a batch of 100 of these, it's going to be 101 cycles before you get your first finished part out of the machine. If you use a set of machinable jaws, I can clamp my raw material there for the first operation using the built-in work stop to locate it and then have a second step in the soft jaws to clamp it for the second operation. So after my second cycle, I get my first finished part out, which can be a huge advantage if someone urgently needs these parts. And it's also a big advantage when you get to look at your finished workpiece and make sure that the work you've done in the first op is correctly aligned to the second op and you've drilled that hole deep enough and you haven't left a great big burr and only found out after 100 cycles and have to run the whole lot through the first operation again, which I've actually seen happen. Richard, <laughs> brilliant demo. Excellent right. demo. Now, I want to touch on a few features. This is the Mark II. First thing that stands out to me is, is that the fixed jaw is at the front, not at the back. Yes. Now, there's no technical reason why you have to have the fixed jaw further away from you in the machine than the moving jaw. And um, there is actually an advantage to having the, the jaws the other way around. And on this particular model, which is 400 millimeters long, you don't see that advantage as much. But on the 500 millimeter version, when you're doing small components, and you have the fixed jaw far away from you, you're reaching right into the machine, you're very far away from your workpiece, it's more difficult to see when there's coolant and shavings flying around in the machine. So there is an advantage to having the fixed jaw closest to you, especially when you're doing smaller components, but it does take a little bit of getting your head around because most people are, as you say, used to working the other way around. This is completely, completely unique. 
it's completely uh, unique. Now, the other thing is that we touched on um, jaw deflection. Jaw Can deflection. Can you tell us how this works? Well, the one lock has a built-in mechanism to prevent jaw lift and jaw deflection. Um, and it's quite complicated and you can't really see it on the outside, but underneath the fixed jaw, there's a wedge system that directs clamping forces through the jaw. So when you have an, a, a force from this direction from your, from your moving jaw, you have an opposing force in the opposite direction inside the jaw carrier. And what that does, it prevents the jaw from tilting under load. What you have on the moving jaw, on the other hand, is you have a rack that drives this jaw backwards and forwards, and the engagement angle prevents the jaw from lifting when it's under load. So you have two very parallel jaws coming together with no lift and no deflection. So you have very high quality surface contact. And with that very high quality surface contact, it eliminates vibration. How Absolutely. important is this? Well, in modern machines with modern tools, modern feed rates and modern, modern spindle speeds, um, it's very, very important. And that's one of the key things about the one lock is it's designed for modern machining. Even though you have to do a one-off or you work in a tool room, you can still have the benefit of modern technology. Richard, it's been an absolutely fantastic demo. One last point for me, it's mounted on a base plate. Can exactly. you explain um, to our audience how it's mounted onto the base plate and what kind of repeatability you get from that also? Well, you have a couple of options for mounting the one lock. Um, it does have a rail at the bottom to allow you to mount it directly to a normal T-slot table. In fact, Chick supply a toe clamp specially for that purpose. But uh, one thing I really like is matrix tables on machines and Chick have their own one. It's called a foundation and it looks like this. Um, when you mount the one lock to the foundation underneath, you can see it locates using a, a round and diamond pin set and there is a special clamp available that is pre-aligned to the holes in the foundation. So it's very, very quick to mount. It's also quite light. So it takes a bit of the work out of, out of mounting it and a bit of the time required. Um, so it's very quick to mount, but it also uh, it locates with better than 20 micron precision. So if you have repeat work and you've machined a set of jaws and you use a foundation, you know every time you do that job, it's gonna be in exactly the same place and you can carry on exactly the same as the last time you did it without having to make loads of adjustments before you get your first good parts out. So Richard, again, eliminating setup time. Now, exactly. just one final point. There's loads more I could still talk about yeah. this, but unfortunately time's running out. We've got the red plugs now. Is this to stop swarf ingress? Exactly, exactly. They come out very easily just with a screwdriver, but they keep all the muck out of the holes, which means when you want to use one, it's ready to use. And it's also interchangeable with the other chick systems. Exactly. Everything works off this 50 millimeter by 50 millimeter uh, matrix of holes. So all the other chick kit goes straight onto the matrix um, and you can easily interchange between some of the other products that are more um, aimed at things like repeat work and large back work, batch work and even um, multi-axis work. Uh, Richard, thank you very much for such a technical review of the One Lock Mark II work holding solution from Chick, available from First MTA. If you like what you see and this would benefit your business, contact First MTA to find out more. Mm -hmm.